you guys know, recently uh, I had my dreadlock cut. This is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like after. Almost at 30,000 subscribers! Psych a lot. Psych a lot! I just hit 30k tonight! You got it. <laughs> okay, guys, 30,000 subscribers. So, my wife, you bought me a champagne. So, thank you, sugar. As uh, non alcoholic, by the way, we don't drink alcohol. Just just, just so y'all know. You know what I mean? So, okay, let's open this thing. This is my first time ever with 30,000 subscribers. God dang. Do I just twist I think this thing you just out? twist it. You gotta shake it though. That's what makes it explode. No. This is so weird. I'm not ready. You ready? Huh? Ah, too fast! Oh! Stop at it! You're fine. Oh, we need some. Cause I didn't know what to do. I thought I thought it snaps off like this, so I twist it and then it's just like. <laughs> So happy, and this is a celebration. We did it 30,000 subscribers, 100k next. No, 50k. 50k is the next goal. I don't know. I'm just celebrating, you know what I mean? I'm excited. This thing good. <laughs> Psych! Psych a lot. You, you thought one. I was gonna pour up my face. Jump with me. Come on. You gotta go like this. Whenever somebody's jumping. Oh, no. Look like I'm doing a music video. <laughs> Somebody gonna watch this and go be like, what the heck are they doing? <laughs> Welcome back to another video! Let's Universe today is a new day. We got a what? We got a biker. We got a biker. We got a biker. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. Welcome to another video of Activeverse Universe. Almost at thirty thousand subscribers. And that's why I would like to announce you a new channel called Pineapple World. When we hit 30,000 subscribers, I gotta let you guys know that I'm gonna do a dreadlock review. And I think we almost there. Maybe we hit it today. I'm not sure. Maybe you already did by this video's out, by the time this video's out. Uh, but at the same time, I want to just say thank you guys for subscribing and everything And that's why I have a new channel for you guys to subscribe to link down in the description Also a Facebook group to where you can share your journey so that you can connect with other people in the same journey as you But let's get into the video besides all of that Alright guys, today we're gonna be doing some maintenance on my dreadlocks As you guys know that this is my second year of having my dreadlocks So no, I'm not tired on my dreadlocks No, I'm not giving up with my dreadlocks I'm gonna continue to do everything everything that I can to maintain it and to make it look cool uh, so that you guys can be inspired and inspire others but as all you guys experience we need sometimes some maintenance on our locks and these maintenance are some things that we have to ingrade in our lifestyle because we need to keep up with what our dreadlock lock is doing by itself because dreadlocks, to be honest with you can lock itself up by itself but it's going to end up looking like what you do not want it to look like it's going to be going from one side to another side all connected with the same hair and that's not what we're looking for and that's why we do maintenance on our dreadlocks how often do you do maintenance that's all up to you it depends on what kind of dreadlocks that you have if you have like a straight hair or you know wavy hair you probably need more maintenance than if somebody that has more tight pattern like the ones that are in the 4a 4b or 4c uh, those hairs actually tend to just hold each other off just just they just I don't know they just like each other and they just hug each other all the time versus if you have a straight hair a little it could be a little bit tough sleeping with it while Watching it even curly here in the threes I think you guys struggle with the same things so this is a good video for all of you guys for this video you guys need only a crochet needle and crochet needle can be found online on greatlocks.com that's my favorite favorite okay 
That's still my favorite uh, website, man. Go get you your crochet needle. And you guys like the logo? That's the, yeah, that's the Pineapple World logo. Oh, okay, shameless plug. All right, so let's get into the, the dreadlock maintenance. Make sure you comment below before we get into it. What method do you did you use to start your dreadlocks? Is it a sponge rub, towel rub, crochet needle, two strand twist, different hairstyles that you used to get into dreadlocks? So comment down below. You guys know recently uh, I had my dreadlock cut when I lost the one on one bet. I really thought like I could beat this dude, man. Like, and I was out of energy within like. 10 minute, maybe even a five minute, man. And it's because I don't work out or run around like I used to. If you ask me when the last time I ran, it's hard to tell. And I don't like running in general, so that doesn't even help. Thus, I've gained a little bit of weight, as you guys can tell. Y'all hear that? Yeah, that's a marriage weight, man. But at the same time, I'm looking to lose some weight. I'm looking to start running around and racing random people on the street or something. It isn't a two strand twist right now. What I was looking to do actually is reconnect it back to the original drill lock that it came out from. And so I've just been, you know, keeping it just in a two strand twist because I wanted to continue to grow so that when I connect them, it'd be easy. So when I had them cut, it was like down here, like right here maybe. Now it's all the way out here and it's becoming its own drill lock. And I haven't even touched it, you know, started to connect itself up. But at the same time, since I put it in a two strand twist, usually what happens is when you do two strand twists since you use uh, gel and everything it actually stays uh, just twisted versus locking itself up uh, and that's why crochet needles really come in clutch if you were to get dreadlock instantly uh, but two strand twist is another method that people usually take to get dreadlocks it just takes a little bit time than a regular uh, crochet needling it I'm going to two strand twist this to make sure that it stays like that and probably put a poly band on there because I don't want this hair to detangle itself and connect to the rest of my other dreadlock because it's in a tight curve pattern like this I think I have 4B hair pattern so it automatically is looking to connect to other part of the dreads And leave it like that. I know it looks weird, it looks awkward, but when the rest of the dreadlocks come on top of it, it will basically weigh it down and it will just look seamless. But I'm gonna show you guys with the front really what to do and how to do this maintenance. It kinda can be tough a little bit because if you don't know how to use crochet needle, it's, it could be very, very tricky. But I'm gonna show you guys how to use crochet needle in this video so that you guys can easily just apply it to what you're doing to your hair. I do need a wash soon and a retwist. At the same time, I don't like my hair all scalpy, which is like, you know, where you see your scalp. I know that's not a word, but I wanna make sure that my hair looks really, really good. Usually guys, when I do a crochet needle style, I usually twist it how it should go. And then I use the crochet needle basically to kind of like, you know, work its way through it. So if you guys have fuzziness and everything like that, the best way to start off is to twist it and then to apply some crochet needle within the logs as you twist it, as you continue to twist. And I don't struggle with a lot of fuzziness because my my hair type is pretty good for dreadlocks, I would say. And that's why my dreadlock looks really good. And also the way I started it originally is a crochet needle method. So it already matured my dreads as I started it. I didn't have to wait for it to mature. And so guys, don't be bummed out if your hair has a lot of, a lot of fuzziness. It is a natural thing with dreadlocks. I have fuzziness too, up to a certain amount. You see it all the way around the dreadlocks. But if you keep your hair in maintenance, and if you keep your locks in the shape that it should be, those fuzziness wouldn't be as obvious as the neatness that you got going on. Especially if you're looking for a neat dreadlock. Cause some people do go for fuzziness, messy dreadlocks. A lot of people with straight hair, you know, those things look good on that. But if you are a person with a three, three A, three B, three Cs, or in the fours, you probably are going usually for a tight one. And even some, you know, straight hairs, two uh, A, two B, two Cs are going for straight uh, for neat look. And so. So that's why you need to get your crochet needle because it just automatically matures your locks. And if you have fuzziness, you basically work throughout the, the whole dreadlock. And also, I will, I, will, I will tell you another tip to use to basically kill the fuzziness uh, is to basically burn them. I'm just kidding. Do not burn your dreadlocks. One time I did a video on that. It was funny. But do not do, not do that. You can actually palm roll it 
with a little bit of pressure. Don't put too much pressure because then you will just put pat down your hair and not do much. Apply some pressure, a little bit of pressure and work through it. What happens is the friction of it will give the hair the attraction for each other. I don't know what it is about friction that our hairs like but they do like friction and they stay together with friction. And so you put some friction in there and you put some a little bit of pressure and you be straight for a little bit my man. You can also hit it as you do the palm roll. So what I'm doing is I'm rotating and fixing rotating and pulling rotating and pulling and i know that with gels and different things uh, through time it'll be able to lock up your roots and you don't want to work your roots too much to where it actually you know hurt your roots and you pulling out your hair that's why whenever you see me doing dreadlocks or you see me crochet needling pulling away from the dreadlock like this it will hurt it you gotta pull into the dreadlocks into the roots into the roots or towards the roots pull towards the roots all the time when you're doing crochet needle because crochet needle you know it's just it's that basically a, a mechanism or a technology that just pulls hair really hard uh, it just doesn't give any consent to how hard you're pulling it you know it just doesn't tell you oh this is how hard I'm pulling it no it just pulls the hair that it can grab to so you can't really tell it how much it can grab or or the pressure to grab it at as long as you're pulling that thing you're actually going to end up affecting your dreadlocks so as you guys saw earlier it was all netty and everything now you see up to here has been done uh, I can't put my finger through it anymore, but back here I can. And so now I'm working all the way to, I'm gonna work it as much as I can before I start getting to the bottom of it. If you're starting your dreadlock with crochet needle in the beginning, your hair will actually shrink to like almost half the length uh, from your actual length of your hair. And so that's what happened to my hair. My hair was pretty long, was like when uh, Gundara Gray crochet needle it, it went up to like here. So. All right guys, so from what I've done so far, this is what it looks like. Literally, of your dreadlocks become full, like almost fully mature, you know what I mean? Like, th that's just automatic right there. This is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. And that's what crochet needle does. It makes a whole difference. It makes even your dreadlock just stand out from the retwist uh, section. If you ever had a retwist and you don't usually touch it up with dreadlock uh, with crochet needle once in a while, then you will end up just having this uh, twisted hair and then it will just come out. And that's why people like to do the interlock method to where they put it in here. And I, I don't like none of that stuff. Mess me with that. You can do all that. My dreadlocks is good how it is. I love it. I don't have to do none of it, nothing like that for two years and so it's still there and I remember I think this one person that was trying to do I forgot who it was but they were trying to get me to do a um, interlock and I said nah fam it was not something that I was looking to get done so I ended up just crochet needles in my hair this is what it looks like and as much as you have the dreadlock as many as many dreadlock that you have you can actually work your way throughout the whole thing it takes up about three to five minutes per dreadlocks and so if you multiply that by your dreads you will get about how long it will take you to finish so I have about 50 dreads I'm doing a counting video soon uh, counting my dreadlocks how many dreadlocks I have because I cut Congo which used to be two that combined together I have a few more Congos that ended up happening during my journey and so my dreadlocks went from like you know 54 originally was to a new number say that I have 50 dreadlocks 50 dreadlocks times Times three to five minutes I'm gonna do four average that's about 200 minutes yes that's about 200 minutes 200 minutes is about an hour and two three hours three hours and 20 minutes so that's not too bad three hours of uh, 20 minute maintenance for something that you can save I don't look like I'm bleeding for something that you can save a lot of money on if you're going to do an interlocking method and different things getting charged and all that stuff but at the same time sometimes you rather have somebody do it than for you to sit three hours like three hours I don't know how much you make an hour but even calculate how much you make an hour and think about is it worth it to do three hours or to go get it done by somebody that can do a pretty good job as as it comes to doing dreadlocks for me right now I do dreadlocks and I do YouTube videos so my three hours will add up to what I'm making, you know what I'm saying? So it's not really I'm losing anything, I'm actually producing content with it. So I'm not tripping about it if I end up doing the whole thing. But for this video, I wanted just to show you guys how to do it. Uh, an upcoming video, I might do uh, the whole thing. I make sure that I read your guys' comment and see if you guys tell me to do it. Then I'm gonna literally dedicate three hours to do my whole entire dreadlocks. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully you guys learned a lot today. Just giving you the tip on how to do one dreadlocks. If you can do it with one, you can do it for the rest of your dreadlocks. 
back. So that one video that you just watched literally invested so much time into you doing your own dreadlocks, learning about how to do it, and also if you wanted to start your dreadlocks, this is a way to do so. So you learned a lot today. So hit the thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts. Like I said earlier, what journey did you start your dreadlocks in? Or if you haven't started your journey, what are you waiting on? Comment down below what you guys' thoughts are. But thank you guys for watching this video. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm Act the Verse and I'm out, yeah, dig. Boom, boom.